वेलकम टू माय प्रोजेक्ट आइडियाज दिस इज एन ऑनगोइंग सीरीज ऑन गूगल फायर बेस इंटीग्रेशन इन एस ए पी वाई फाइव एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वेयर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू डू गूगल फायर बेस सेटअप सो दीज आर फ्यू सिंपल स्टेप्स दैट यू नीड टू फॉलो यू नीड टू क्रिएट अ गूगल अकाउंट एंड यूजिंग दैट गूगल अकाउंट यू नीड टू ओपन अप द गूगल फायर बेस एंड देन यू नीड टू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट ओवर देयर एंड वंस यू आर डन विद दैट देन यू नीड टू link your credit card in case you want to use some paid services like node js for backend and then you need to generate app setup code from firebase so we'll quickly see how exactly we can do that so i am already logged in into gmail via my account and once you are logged in you need to open up this particular url that is console.firebase.google.com you can even google it out google firebase and you will land up here only and once you land on this particular dashboard you need to click add project and uh, let's name it my project ideas and it will generate a project name like this and you need to confirm and continue you can always enable google analytics so automatically google analytics will be linked to your project so that you can analyze the number of people visiting your particular database and all so in case you do not want to do any analytics setup you can just ignore it and create project and it will take some time to create a project for you so once the project is created you can enter into the project and see all the configuration that the project has initially and certainly you can add bit by bit modules in that like database or other modules are not enabled by default so we'll see how exactly we can do that great so our project is ready so on if i go to home page just this one then you can see my project ideas is added here right and you can simply click on that and you will be on the landing page so by default nothing is enabled if you click here and go on project settings so you can see so as of now even there is no environment type so for dev environment you can leave it like this but in case you want to make it a production environment so when we say environment it, it's like uh, you can create three projects one for development one for testing and one for production right so like this you can mark them if it is a production environment or not and import, importantly one uh, thing you need to do and that is default gcp location so this identifies the location of your database by default so by default you see it is us central and uh, when you just click on it you can choose the one that you want so you can read more on it on internet i will add a link in the description of the video so you need to choose the one nearest to your location so it means if i am in india i can choose some something in india if my client is in singapore so i can choose something that is near to singapore and you will not uh, come to know by that uh, name directly because you cannot find india or singapore here So you need to Google it out. The nearest Google Cloud platform hosting near to Singapore, near to India, and you will come with an, a name like this: Asia Northeast or Asia South One, something like that. So yeah, that that's the thing you need to do here, and it's very important. Otherwise, your database will be in United States of America, and there will be a lot of you know gap in every call. So It, it will increase the response time so apart from this i believe uh, you need to visit this particular section your apps where you can add if you are planning for ios application you can click here if you are planning for android application you can click here and if you are planning for any web application that we are going to plan actually you can click here so it will generate a project code for you that you can copy and paste and simply get started so that we'll look into another video so i believe that's the only thing you need to do to get started with google firebase 
and to use node.js functions if i just click here and if you want to enable this particular firebase function you need to upgrade the project right same thing i wanted to tell you if you click here and select the plan like this it will take you to pay as you go and if you click on continue if your credit card is added it will be automatically you know reflected here and if not then you need to add your credit card then only this particular cloud services will be enabled for you so i will just go back because i don't want to add as of now so i believe that's it that's the thing i wanted to cover in this video in the next video we will learn how to do a configuration setup in our ui application thank you very much